Hi everyone, let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried to explain what you do to your family and friends and gotten a blank look? Or is fear holding you and your online business back right now? Now if you answered yes to either of those, you're going to love this month's free newsletter. How do you get a copy? Head on over to writecom.com now. And by the way, if you want to make more money with your online business, you are going to love our coffee bean money making idea inside. So head over to writecom, that's W-R-I-T-E-C-O-M-E.com and you'll find the newsletter waiting for you over there. Hi, this is Barry here and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode from rightcom.com and today's podcast episode is entitled, This is Your Journey You're On. Now imagine for a moment that you and I are passengers on a loaded plane and we're heading off to some exotic destination. We are excited to get there, we're talking about the beaches, we're looking forward to the weather and we're really excited to get there. But then unfortunately the pilot comes over to the intercom and he says, I've got bad news, we've got engine problems and the plane is going down. Now, I know that's not a pleasant talk, but stick with me here for a moment. So what happens next is the air crew points out to everyone that we're not going to die and we're actually going to survive this because we've all got a parachute under our seats. So what they do next is they show us how to attach it to ourselves and they take us a row at a time and walk us to the back door, which is now wide open. Now, air traffic controller knows that we're going down, they say as they pat us on the shoulder. When you land, head for that mountain. So one attendant points off to this mountain peak off in the distance and he says if we all walk toward it, it'll make it easier for them to find us. And before you can argue, before you can say anything else or ask another question, you are given a push in the back and you're sent flying out the door. Now, when you've overcome that bout of screaming for your life, you start to feel a little less scared because what's happened is the canopy is opened and you've looked up and you've realised the canopy is huge compared to the size of you. And this parachute has absolutely no problems carrying you. So you're actually starting to relax a little. It doesn't seem so bad. And you're thinking to yourself, you know something, maybe I should have tried to parachute and and done it sometime in the past because it's not as scary when you get over your kind of initial bout of terror. Now, as you are kind of floating down, you start to relax a little and you kind of look around. You're enjoying the scenery. It doesn't seem so bad. And then you realise, oh, there's other people in the same situation as I am in. So what you do is you start looking down. You look down between your feet and you can see some parachutes further down. Now, as you're watching these people landing, you observe that some people are landing in wide open spaces. Now, some people look like they're going to go down in woodland and some people, unfortunately, are going to go down in marshland. Now all of a sudden this side wind comes along and starts blowing you to one side. So what's happening is you are drifting away. And as you look over your shoulder you realise that you are drifting further away from everyone else. You're looking back over your shoulder and then you realise, you know something, I am going to be probably the furthest one in this party away from everyone else. And before you have a chance to maybe just to kind of pull on the strings or kind of direct the parachute in any direction at all, suddenly you're on the ground. Now, as you land on the ground, you curse to yourself because you seem to be the furthest away from the group. And, you know, some people have landed at last closer. Some people have landed in a better place than you have. So what you do is you undo the clips, you free yourself from your parachute and you grumble at the journey that's ahead of you. Now, how many of us has done that? Grumbled at where we have started in life. You know, complained that we didn't land in a pasture of supermodel good looks or an easy life. Cursed our life because we have a lot of catching up to do or that we have a lot to carry to get to our destination. You know, we look at all the other people who have landed somewhere else in life and we say, it's not fair where I am compared to where they are. They have an unfair advantage. You know, they have landed in a spot where maybe they had good genes, where they maybe were talented, where maybe they landed into a position where maybe they had great parents. But then other people have landed in other areas where maybe they landed into a a life where they're in poverty or maybe they have two parents who don't take care of them, who don't care about their education and they are neglected. Or again, some people maybe have landed into a handicap. And the more you think about it, you know, the more you realise that, you know, maybe the spot that you are in maybe isn't as bad as it could be. And a lot of us, unfortunately, kind of look at where we landed or we look at where someone else has landed and we try to compare our journey with the other person's journey. But again, going back to that analogy of us landing on the parachutes, you know that person who maybe jumped out of the plane first, who landed in that kind of soft pasture land, the one that's closer to that mountain peak, 
Can you really compare your journey to their journey? You know, because your journey is going to be completely different than theirs. Because they have landed in a different spot than you have, their journey to that mountain peak isn't as, you know, isn't as far as yours. And yet a lot of us kind of compare our journey and what we need to do in our life with someone else's. You know, we feel that we need to do the exact same things as someone else. But when you think about it, you know, a lot of us are in a different position than everybody else. Our journey is going to be completely different. You know, as I said, some people are going to start off a great looks, maybe a great, you know, immediate kind of uh, start where maybe they were born into, you know, wealth compared to maybe you that were born into poverty. So when you think about it, what is really the point of maybe comparing your looks, comparing your talent, comparing how unfair it is that maybe you haven't got it as good as someone else? Because when you think about it, that person landed in a random spot, just like you landed in a random spot in life. So is it fair maybe to curse somebody because they are better looking than you, that they are more talented, or do they have it easier? And wouldn't it be better maybe just to focus on where you have landed and focus on your journey? Because your journey is going to be different from theirs. They are going to see different sights on the way to the mountain peak that you are going to see. So... Maybe just stop comparing yourself to other people or comparing your journey or try to do the exact same journey as everyone else or someone else you're trying to copy the exact same, you know, steps that they take or the exact same actions that they take. Because when you think about it, the actions that they are taking, the steps that they are taking is from the point that they are at. And if you think about it, if you take those steps and those actions, are they really going to work for you if you are starting at a different point than they are starting in? So think about that when you maybe are comparing yourself to someone else that, okay, somebody may have it better than you. Yes, they may be more talented. Maybe they may be uh, better looking than you are. Maybe they find it easier to do the thing that you can do it. But that's a journey they're on. So maybe it's time just to maybe take the eye off them and focus on your journey to that mountain peak. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like more from the rightcome.com podcast, be sure to subscribe now for more tips, tricks, and ideas you can use to make more money from your words. See you in the next episode.